English web novels are a decently broad field, one with several different spots to read from. My experience of about 5 plus cumulative years has led me to using 5 sites predominantly, which I will give the pros and cons of later in this video. Those being Royal Road, AO3, FFN, Space Battles, and Questionable Questing. There are other sites, but I generally find them unacceptably dog shit for their own reasons or I haven't used them. For instance, Wattpad and Webnovel.com have shit layout designs, searching capabilities, and stories, with Wattpad having cringy reader insert stories that seem to take up the majority of the site, and Webnovel having trashy edge shit due to its Chinese wuxia influence with paywalled chapters, a topic which could probably warrant a video or at least a rant all on its own. In general, there are several pros each site holds, but one is that all sites let you filter by word count, and another being that all sites hold their own unique stories posted on their sites. Then again, you could consider it a con that people do not consistently post their works across all possible sources they can or are allowed to. Regardless, there is a legitimate reason to keep track of all the sites in order to make sure you aren't potentially missing anything. Likewise, there's also a general con all sites hold, and that is the strong likelihood that a story, whether it's fan fiction or original fiction, can go on hiatus. There are ways to mitigate this. I personally don't read in progress stories that are shorter than 60,000 words and have an update rate of about 60,000 words a year minimum. Granted, I personally don't think this will be an issue for that much longer with AI story writers already here in a semi-working, albeit guided manner, that will eventually allow anyone to generate endings to perma-hiatus stories in probably just a few years' time. This was written by Claude 3 with no editing on my part. But that is probably a short video topic on its own, and I'll let you make a judgment call on what your minimums are. As for the sites individually, well, better to start off with the mutt of the group FFN, otherwise known as fanfiction.net. This site is one of the oldest fanfiction sites, which means it hosts a ton of stories going back decades. It does have some of its own good stories that aren't posted on the other four I listed, but generally any author who gives a shit and thus trying is likely reposting it elsewhere. It also, along with Royal Road and AO3, has an easy to search completion status option, which the remaining two don't. The site out of the five holds some of the overall lowest quality writing as a standard, has a wonky no sex rule, which is applied randomly, and did have an incident in late 2023 where their emails straight up did not work for a whole month. Personally, beyond the stories I already have followed on the site, it's very rare that I decide to check for any new stories in the fandoms I'm interested on there, those being Fate and MGE maybe once every three or more months. Moving on to the fourth lowest on my ranking, Questionable Questing. The pros are it has a very lenient NSFW rules, no bitching about words on a page, usually. The average writing is generally pretty good, ignoring the cringy Wafu catalog and gamer stories. It also has its own unique stories, but this is due to there being authors here who shill Patreons who don't want to repost on AO3 due to their no dono liking policy. As for the cons, Besides the login requirement to see the NSFW side, this site has, I think, maybe the worst rate of stories never being finished. I can only think of perhaps three stories which were actually completed on it in the three years I've read the site off and on. It suffers from no easy way to find completed stories except hoping the author has the word in their thread title, and this site suffers from a no politics real world depictions, which I've seen personally neuter a story, that being Monster Girl Invasion, which the author had to cut back on some of the realism that MGs would impact women in the relationship market. On top of that, this site is the worst at giving email updates. There's been issues with the site over the years, and there was a period of like six months last year where email notice were not working at all making FFN look like a nothing burger. On top of that, their emails are blocked by some of the big email providers due to them being listed under spam by some email spam prevention filter, so expect to check if your email works for the site. For the final cherry on top, if you don't log in like once every two weeks to a month, you stop getting email notifications, so you have to make sure you're logging in and not just reading the chapters you get inside the email notifications. So overall, a site with good and varied writing that's mainly held back by design and service issues. The middle of the road is Space Battles, which is essentially the SFW site version of QQ, but with no email issues and no login requirement. Good writing, more stories get finished but still rare, and unique stories as well. 
The only issues are the same rules of the no politics real world depictions, no good completion filter, mods and admins being insufferable every time they pop up, and general cringy Twitter leftism that permeates a lot of their rules and mods. Thankfully, half of these are easily avoidable for the most part by lurking and only reading chapters. Overall, despite the few downsides, it holds good stories that you might be unaware you even want to try reading, and it's a solid pick. In second place, we have Royal Road. This is the place for original English web fiction for the most part. I've used the site for a cumulative seven or eight years, give or take, having started using it back in 2015. Solid stories can be found in abundance of all different types of genres with good search capabilities, but one of the most popular is Isekai, and while there's a plethora of shit power fantasy Isekai on the site, you can find good Isekai on it as well, through various means like the user-liked recommendations, authors shouting out each other, and rising tab, as well as user advertisements. As for cons, to start with, there's the user advertisements. Oh god, are they so fucking dog shit at times. A couple of years ago, people started using Lufunny memes for their ads, and now 50 to 60% or even higher, likely 70% of all ads do these backslash R meme posts, which caused my blood pressure to skyrocket. I recently decided to just take the plunge and finally make the use of uBlock Origins feature to block specific links, and just start nuking any insufferable ads which pop up on my screen, and have collected a few blocked links in my uBlock filters now. A smarter person would just block the ads entirely, but like I said, there are some good ads which lead me to new stories. Another con was last year they removed the ability to see upvotes and downvotes on reviews, pulling a YouTube moment. The reasoning behind this was due to a group of mass upvoting and downvoting reviews. They decided to take the easy nuclear option instead of adding better abuse detection methods, which in turn means that instead of trusting a highly rated review, you have to spend more time combing through reviews getting a general vibe check on whether the story is good or not. An annoying downgrade, but one that all of the other sites have as an issue as well. A third con is no real NSFW stuff or real world stuff on the site unless it's in small doses. The final con of note is that a decent chunk of authors, when they complete their books, take it down off the site in what is called a stub to post on Amazon. There are several options one can technically do here. You can 1. Keep relatively up to date on stories and make sure to download them before they're taken down. Two. If you don't care about Amazon's shitty behavior, you can buy Kindle Unlimited or even more likely find a free trial code online. I personally found a three month long one and the only time I bothered to try it. Take note that Amazon keeps track of what books you look at. You might not want them keeping track of that harem fic you looked at. Or three, you pirate it in some way, either using a site that automatically scrapes chapters or by using a site which shares books for free. Whatever you choose is up to you. Insert generic statement about not promoting piracy. Mm hmm Yes, big brother YouTube. Overall, a good place with only a few cons that are outshined by what you can find. Final one, which is on top of the list for me, is AO3, Archive of Our Own. Overall, it's my personal favorite site. There's pretty much no rules on what content can be uploaded, no matter what NSFW or real-world stuff it is. It, on top of having the best layout design in my opinion, also has the most detailed tag sorting that makes finding what I want easy, whether it be fate, isekai, self-inserts, original fiction, monster girl encyclopedia, other MG stuff, femdom, essentially all the tags a man could ever want. Am I right, my 100% third world or male audience? There are honestly very few cons to really mention. There is the con of the freedom also meaning a person's freedom to make cringe shit, as seen with the plethora of K-pop, SMP, and reader insert shit which are annoying, but the site allows tag blacklisting for accounts, so this is an easy fix. Another con, like I said, is that some writers just don't post on the site due to the no direct Patreon linking, as well as there being stories that are account locked, meaning you can't see them without being logged in, which can be irritating. A third con, which seems due to the vastness of the site, is that some fandoms can be severely sparse. Would it shock you to know that there's only 15 blue archive stories with more than 60k words and only 6 of them are not seemingly on hiatus at the moment? Granted, this might be more of a broader fanfic issue than just a AO3 issue, but regardless, despite AO3 having such huge traffic, they are concentrated in a few fandoms, with the rest getting scraps, so you best be a fan of either a popular fandom or a more generic tag, or be willing to read small one-shots. Regardless, that's about it. Not much more to say about it. Some stories are reposted across various sites, and furthermore, looking at one site may show you stories you missed or weren't popular on other sites. For instance, some original fiction can be easier to spot on Space Battles as opposed to Royal Road, where it might not have been picked up into the rising recommendations. 
That's all to really know. If you are interested in either more content about web fiction, perhaps check out my 10 year roundup video, or for general isekai content, the rest of the channel. Next video will hopefully be a fate fanfiction overview, that or a MGE one, whichever I feel like doing. Until next time.